We're starting a new unit with the Algebra Lab Gear pieces. Now this is the first time Ms. Johnson and I have used it, so we're a little bit on a learning curve too. Each of you will be getting this sheet here just to kind of keep the pieces straight, but these are the actual pieces that you'll have an opportunity to use. We don't have enough for each of you, so you'll be using them in pairs. Uh, Ms. Johnson, how about you explain some of the pieces? Yes, I'm going to go through, and I have it set up just like the paper. So the first thing you see there is the corner piece, and it's the same piece on your paper that you'll be using for some of these. Um, next, the yellow represents whole numbers. This first one is the one block, which you have on your paper. And then you have, uh, that represents the five, whole number five. Um, let me just go through and do the rest. Then you have the yellow whole number 25 block, which is a unit. Mm -hmm. And then when you get into the variables, starting up here, and if you're following your paper, this is x, represents x, variable x. Okay. Underneath it, you have x squared, moving down, 5 times x, or 5x. Then we have y, x times y, xy, 5 times y, and then y squared. So I would definitely make sure that you know the difference that the smaller ones are going to represent the X and the larger ones are going to represent the Y. And kind of an easy way to remember that the XY is XY is if you put mm -hmm. these two together, basically it's just multiplying those two lengths to get XY. Sounds good. All right. Go ahead. The yellow ones are the constants. And anything in blue is going to be a variable. If it's a short blue, it's going to be x. If it's a long blue, it's going to be y. And then the distance of this small x and long y, the sum of those or the product of those is going to give you xy.